All right, folks, my name is Mike, Mexico, India, Kilowatt Echo. I'm running an old boat anchor tonight, only 75 watts, so I hope you can hear me. We've stumbled onto the Boat Anchors Unlimited net. We meet here on this frequency every Wednesday evening at 7.30. We talk about the early days of single sideband. A lot of people on the net uh, have uh, old vacuum tube rigs. Some have hybrids. But we don't limit it to just uh, boat anchors. Anybody with a modern rig, if you're interested in what we're talking about, just check in and we'll count you and that'll be cool. I guess I'm going to start out. Lynn is not uh, evidently available to run the net. I've got him down to call him and we'll see if he can uh, at least talk. His antenna's laying on the roof, a big tree he had to take down in his front yard. And that tree held up <laughs> some of his antenna system. So anyway, he's kind of out of commission uh, as far as being able to talk very long with power. Um, and Jay, I guess, is having thunderstorms, so he's uh, on the side. Maybe he'll check in a little later to help run the net. And, of course, Rusty's here. So with that, Rusty, did I leave anything out? I don't think so, Mike. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to start down the list here, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Now, have patience with me. I don't do this on a regular basis, and I write slow. That's why I could never pass a code test. Okay, KE5Q, your turn. All right, this is Kilo Echo 5 Quebec, Jim and Plano. Good evening to everybody on the net. And, uh, uh, we are running the KWM2, KWM2, and we're bypassing the 3001 tonight and going into the uh, L4B, uh, L4B, and that's going into the Ultimax uh, 8040, uh, and I think I said it's your 444, I guess I did. Anyway, appreciate you calling the net, uh, calling the net there, and uh, we hear a few static crashes, but not too bad. Uh, back to net there. K-E-5-Q, Plano. Okay, Jim and Plano. I used to live in Plano, as a matter of fact, for a little while. Carrollton, too. Anyway, familiar with a good signal tonight. Okay, let's try Lynn and see if he's around. Uh, if not, I'll check back with him later. K-5-L-Y-N. How about it, Lynn? A quick one. Yeah, the net is in superb hands, guys. The 60-foot uh, uh, oak tree that used to hold up my antenna came down today after two days and $4,000, but I couldn't put up an antenna in an hour. So you all carry on tonight. We'll shoot for next week. K5LYN. Okay. Thanks, Lynn. Glad you could check in. I assume you're on the 7300, so I'm going to put you down as a modern rig. Are you running any power at all? No, it's barefooted. Yeah, the, the, the antenna tuner was tuned up with my uh, antenna analyzer, and then the, the antenna tuner and the 7300 finished the job. That's why I don't want to stress it too much. Yeah, okay. I don't blame you. Thanks for checking in, Lynn. We appreciate what you do. I guess while I've got the handle here uh, in my hand, I better tell you about my rig. I'm on the old Helicrafters HT37, and I'm running about 75 watts. That's about all it'll make. I'm going to check the driver and final tubes and see if I can boost that up a little bit. But no amplifier, so we're barefoot. I'm talking on a D104. I've got a dipole up about 25 feet fed with coax, no tuner. And my receiver is a recently refurbished Telecrafters SX101A. Nice uh, little double conversion receiver from about 1959. Okay, that's it from here. Now let's see who we got next. Uh, W5OZZ. Hello, this is WB5OZZ. Name is Don New Caney, Texas. Running the Kenwood 830 into a 922 amp. Kenwood, all Kenwood here. Dipole, I mean, excuse me, bazooka at 45 feet, and that's about it. And I'm uh, looking for a TR4C uh, transceiver if anybody's got one laying around smoking up and all that. Over. Okay, Roger. I copied all that, except I missed your name because I can't write that fast. I'm sorry. It's Don, Delta, Ontario, November. Hey, Don, big signal. 
I was looking for a TR4C. If anybody's got one, uh, give him a call. I guess you're good on uh, URZ. Oh, Roger, Roger. Okay, and I got your call correct now. Whiskey Bravo 5 OZZ. Thank you. All right, moving down the list. W5DK, on out there in, let's see, something springs. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Uh, it's Spring Branch, the uh, the pretty Spring Branch in the hill country north of San Antonio. And I'm on my normal dirty, dusty Drake station. It's just a TR4 with a D104 microphone and a whole bunch of accessories. L4 amp, I'm running legal. And out to a double extended ZEP antenna. Good to hear, everybody. Not too much crash. Good to hear, Lynn. I'm sure you have that antenna going good quicker. So thanks for running the net, uh, Mikey. Oh, boy, I don't know what that was right there at the end. Okay, Don. Did you get any rain out there, Don? Almost nothing. I don't appreciate it, uh, rubbing it in. Well, I got five eighths of an inch here, and about six miles away, they got an inch and a half. So I, we're in like a vortex here. We don't get any rings. You don't even know what it is. Right. Anything else for the net, Don? No, everybody have a good evening. Okay, I'll clear with Don. N5JJI, San Antonio, or New Brunfels, I should say. Come in. Okay, Mike. Good evening. This is N5 JJI, uh, just east of beautiful in downtown New Braunfels. The rig tonight, uh, we'll start with the microphone. It's a Shure 505C into a Heathkit HW101 over to a Heathkit HSB201 uh, out to a dialometer. And out the window to a 80 meter dipole up about 45 feet. And appreciate you dropping in tonight, Mike, and uh, and uh, filling the gap for us. And y'all have a good evening. N5 JJI. Okay, your name's Ed, right? Yes. Okay, Ed. Well, Heath gets station sounding really good. A little bit off frequency, I would say, but totally readable. Anything else for the net? Uh, not a, no, I just reached over and tried to bump the dial, so I may be worse off than I was before. Oh, you're about the same. Don't worry about it. We copy 100%. Okay, clear with that. AG5XB. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Mike, for picking me up and filling in tonight. This is Kenneth up around Brownwood. Tonight we're on the helicopter HD32A going out the 33A amplifier. Got the D104 microphone. Got the old Heath Kid 2040 tuner. Got the Barrage MP1 watt meter keeping track of my tube damage and going out a G5 RB antenna. And that's what we got here in Brownwood. Back to you, Mike. Okay, Kenneth, you sound real good. I've got two of those uh, HT32Bs. They're both up on their side back in my workroom. I haven't been able to make either one of them work, so I just kind of set them up there and move on to something else. You got anything else for the net? That's it at the moment, but I've got a, a 33A, an older one that I'm using now. Then i got another 33A, but it, it's really a 32B, but it looks like a 33A because it's got the extra tubes for the the bias and all the resistors are the correct ones. And the band switch is different than this 33A here, so it's really a 33B and a 33A cabinet. And then i also got a HD33A that's got the two 4CX300 in that. Just waiting for the weather to get nice bright can do the paint job on them, and that's what we got here in Brownwood. Back to you. Okay, Kenneth, real good. 100% copy. Okay, next up is my good buddy George there in Austin, WB5TXW. Go ahead, George. All right, test KL7CD from WB5TXW. How are you, Mike, and all around the net for the finest hour of amateur radio for the week? So I'm on the F-line gear, 32S175S3, the 30L1. It's uh, producing some heat there. Power supply, speaker cabinet, 
out to the 75 meter dipole fed with 450 on twin lead. And it all appears to be working because it hasn't blown up yet. So uh, that's the report. Mike, you're sounding good up here. Over. Okay, George. Solid copy. Big signal tonight. Um, I don't know why uh, all of a sudden I can hear people better than I've been hearing, but my conditions here at my end are really good. Okay, anything else, George? That's it. Except to say I hope everybody has a good week, good weekend. Uh, be safe and God bless. WB5TXW back to net. Okay, thank you, George. This is KL7, Charlie Delta. And as I go down these, if I get your call sign wrong, which I did once already, uh, just say it correctly and I'll get it corrected and everything will be cool. And I am trying to write down the rig. So far, I haven't missed any, so I'll maybe be able to get out a rig report. I, I was kind of nervous about running the net and being able to keep up with the rigs, but I've, so far it hasn't been too bad. Okay, KA5CXG, your turn. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mike. This is Bob at San Angelo, uh, running a uh, modern radio again. Well, not really, but it's 850. Came out in the, I think, early 90s or something like that. Late 80s, early 90s. Run it to uh, uh, Gentron GLA 1000. We normally run 850s or 820s or something like that. And uh, going to a rebuilt MFJ tuner. Somebody gave it to me in pieces. It was an old MFJ thing. It's not as big as the MT3000, but it has a fixed inductor instead of a roller inductor, but it's a huge thing. And we rebuilt it, and it's working pretty good. And other than that, that's it. Got a lot of static out there. And I will say this net is running very smoothly. I'm, so I'm impressed. And uh, we'll, we'll see everybody next week. And I hope everybody has a good week. And I hope some people who didn't, like me, get some rain. We'll see you later, K560. Okay, solid copy, big signal. Is your name Bob? Did I get that right? Yes, sir, you did. Okay, Bob, thanks so much. Okay, moving on. Alpha Alpha 5 Lima Tango. Alpha Alpha 5 Lima Tango, your turn. He was real light on me earlier. I may return to him, uh, and if, if I can't, when I do return to him, if I do, uh, if I can get a relay, that would probably help me a little bit. So we'll, we'll pass him for right now. Hilo Charlie 5, Whiskey Limo Foxtrot. Yeah, appreciate it. Good evening to the net, and uh, Stan seems to be in pretty good shape this evening. This is Jimmy, KC5WLF. I'm over here in Cedar Park, northwest of Austin, and appreciate you uh, calling, calling me there. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm talking to you this evening on my uh, FT-101 Zulu Delta Mark III, uh, and talking into an FL-2000 uh, amp Amplifier, I guess we're doing about all peaking about 500 watts. I'm not. I'm trying not to run it that hard, but anyway, uh, everybody sounds good this evening, and I'm sure enjoying it. So uh, uh, do, you're doing a good job there running the net too. Take care now, KC5 WLF. Back to the net. Okay, Jimmy. Thanks for checking in. Good signal. I'm glad to hear a Yesu in here. We don't get very many Yesus on this net, and I'm really not understanding why that is. When I was uh, well, a young man, I'll just put it that way, uh, probably late 20s, early 30s, the TS-520 and the Fox Tango 101, those were the rigs that ruled the airwaves, and the 520s are still around, but you don't hear too many of the Yesu rigs anymore. Anything else for the net, Jimmy? No, sir, just bring us some more rain. We need rain, Roger. Yeah, hey, Roger, if I could control that, I'd have a bunch here, but I ain't got any. Okay, moving on. Whiskey Bravo 1 Echo, WB1E. 
Yes, hello, Mike, and everybody on the boat anchors net. Thanks for picking me up, Mike, and that 75 watts has sounded just appropriate as any other station out there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the biggest uh, signal I've got is probably Ed, uh, JJI, at about plus 20, believe it or not. For some reason, we have a pipeline. Everybody else is about plus 10, and you're right there from uh, S9 to plus 10 there, Mike. So uh, good job. I appreciate you picking it up. Uh, everyone, I'm on the Swan 500 tonight. 500 watts uh, input uh, doing... Let's see here. Hello. Oh, I saw a 4-0 flash. Good grief. I better back the mic gain off a little bit. <clears throat> EEP, I saw a flash of 400 watts. That's a new record. And I just came out here an hour ago and turned it on, so hopefully I'm not drifting too bad. Um, and, and going up barefoot uh, in inverted V, uh, running RT213, no balance anymore. And... Uh, and yeah, it's up at about 80 feet, uh, tuned for this frequency. So uh, the microphone is a uh, an Electric Voice 638, and that's uh, that's the rundown. So I put the GI7 BT project off to the side. I'm kind of clearing out some honeydews or or uh, whoever told me to do it, and. Um, and I may get started on uh, some sheet metal work for some bigger projects. So there you go, Mike. And um, and uh, so I'll turn it back to you. And uh, again, uh, 7-3 to everybody on the Boat Anchors Net. This is WB1E. Uh, the name is Doug, by the way, the, uh, Delta Ocean Union, George. And I'll send it back to you, Mike. Yeah, Roger, Doug. Thanks a lot. I'm glad you threw your name in because I was going to come back and ask you what it was, but I got it now. Swan sounded really good. It always does. And I'm glad you're getting max power out of it. Okay, I'm going to skip uh, Rusty. Uh, he can tell us what he's on when I turn it over to him, and I'm getting close now. This is KL7 Charlie Delta in New Braunfels, Texas. Okay, K0 Sierra Echo Delta. Well, good evening, uh, Mike and all the boat anchors. K0 SED and Tyler. And tonight again, I'm on that trusty old Kenmore 5, 520 in a column 30 one A fan dipole up 40 odd feet. And that's about it from Tyler, Texas. Sat that 75 sounds good in Tyler, Mike. K0 SED. Okay, K0 SED, solid copy there in Tyler. Uh, but I didn't get your name. Uh, Steve. Okay, Steve, way to go. Hey, what's it like living in Tyler? Is that a pretty good place to live? <laughs> well, it's a whole lot different than San Mark, than uh, New Braunfels, uh, much more laid back. It's close to some pretty good fishing lakes, ain't it? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, I've been trying to talk my wife into moving to Tyler. She's not, she's not going for it. Okay, anything else for the net, Steve? No, that's got it, Mike. Thanks for picking it up. All right, thank you. Okay, I got one more on my list here, and then I'll throw it over to Rusty. Whiskey Alpha 5, Mike Tango Tango. Yeah, good evening, Mike, and uh, everybody on the... Well, let's see, I don't have my amp going. Hang on a minute. Okay, uh, that might be better. There's about 1,200 out of the 30S1, so I uh, gave it away. We're on the uh, <coughs> winged emblem... 75S2 receiver, uh, 32S1 transmitter, and uh, as you heard, the amplifier is a 30S1 Collins also. The uh, microphone is a Electrovoice 674. Um, I, I did did like having the uh, rain this week. I, we 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 did luck out and get a little over an inch of rain here, Mike. But um, it, it did wash some of the some of the oak blooms and pollen away. So uh, we didn't get what Sammy did out there east of us, but we got a little bit. Go ahead. Okay, and your name is. No, it's Mike. Uh, I, <laughs> we sat next to each other at Belton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, how you doing, Mike? No, oh, doing, doing great. Doing fine. Well, when you hit that switch, it did make a big difference at my end. Yeah, yeah. I went from about 55 watts to a 1,200. <laughs> That's quite a difference. Well, I'll get an amp on this one before too long. We'll see how it goes. Well, I've got a spare 30S1 if anybody needs one. I'm scared. That's big. Well, 
it's, it's, they're great ants. Yeah, I, I know they are. Uh, I've heard Lynn talk about trying to work on them, though. I'm, I'm a little scared of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really nothing to it. Okay, well, uh, I'm, I'm not going to take any over-the-air check-ins. I'm going to let Rusty do that. So I'm going to turn the net over to Rusty, WK5R, KL7, Charlie Delta. And you might check for Jay there, Rusty. Okay, <clears throat> KL7CD, WK5R. Hey, good evening, folks. This is WK5R. You're listening to the Bone Anchors Unlimited Net, which meets here every Wednesday night at 7.30 on 38.70. And what uh, Mike wants to know, I am running my modern stuff because I haven't had time to uh, work on the helicopters HT-37. I did get the information that Lynn sent me, and i got to check that out someday. But I'm on a TS, Kenwood TS-590. The 590S, not the SD, just the 590. The microphone is an Audio-Technica AT-2035, and I'm driving the homebrew GS-35B amplifier. Uh, hello, oh, about 1,200 watts <laughs> into a homebrew fan dipole up at uh, uh, 50 feet, no tuner. So with that, I'll just throw it out there and see who else is out there for the Bonehackers Unlimited deck. Come now. Whiskey 5, Tango Foxtrot. Sierra Alpha Charlie. Okay, I got one out there. Sierra Alpha Charlie, go ahead. Long screw, my Romeo well, mobile. Jeff, go ahead, SAC. Okay, this is Norman. I'm in Nederland, Texas, uh, just south of Beaumont. Good evening to all the uh, boat anchor people. Sounds good. Not Probably not quite as strong as last Wednesday. Still on the old gray box, 3001, and uh, driven by the KWM2, both uh, winged emblems. Uh, putting out, I guess, about 700 watts. Same old uh, fan dipole, 10 through 80, uh, homebrew, and a T-104 mic. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to get my uh, PR-4 out of the attic and, and fire it up just for something different. Things have been pretty quiet this week, getting some loose ends caught up. The wife left on a little trip, so <laughs> be surprised how much you can accomplish when they're gone, unless uh, they, they mail you another to-do list. <laughs> Back to you, Rusty. Good evening to everyone. <laughs> okay, Norm. Collins is sounding good, and I can tell she's still talking. Because I didn't hear a skillet make cannot connect with your head there. Hi, hi. Thank you, Norman. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, maybe five OMR mobile. Go ahead, Jeff. Man, well, good evening, everybody. I heard a lot more in here. But I'll tell you, hey, help me with a mouthful. Five OMR mobile in Alma, Texas. I'm just out of Dallas. I'm 45 on my way up to Iowa and running the. Uh, oh, excuse me. There we go. Running the uh, Kenwood GS 2000 here in the truck with a stop mic. <laughs> the uh, Worthmore two transistor amplifier. Okay. Well, your uh, Kingwood 2000 sounds good there. We got an idiot out there blowing in the mic, so. Uh, but I uh, still got you out of there. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Who else is out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net? Come now. Whiskey 5, Tango Foxtrot. Tango Romeo. Okay, I got two there. Uh, Whiskey 5, Tango Foxtrot. Go ahead. Yeah, okay, Rusty. Name here is Terry. I'm located in uh, Laurel, Mississippi. I'm on the modern gear tonight. I was, I couldn't pull everybody out on that R4B, so I shut her down and got my TS590SG driving an Alpha 78. Same old uh, double bazooka antenna up at about 45 feet. 
And uh, everybody was just too hard to pull out on that R4B. I don't know what was going on. I hadn't made it in a couple of uh, weeks, but uh, I did take a tour of uh, the Texas Panhandle last week. Went out and visited some old folks that I used to know out there. I lived out there for about uh, three years. Just north of Amarillo, a little place called French, if anybody is familiar with it. And uh, anyhow, I'm here and everybody's just fine over 590. So that's all I got. Thanks for picking me up. WJ5R from Whiskey 5, Tango Fox Road. Over. Okay, Terry. Well, your 590 is doing fine. That's what I'm listening on here, though. So. Sorry you couldn't hear on your uh, uh, your old rig, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. I appreciate it there. Okay, there was another station ending in Foxtrot. Come again. November 5, Papa Foxtrot. Hello, Russell. Hello, Phil. Go right ahead. All right, this is Phil. Okay, Vicksburg, Mississippi. Uh, and uh, I'm running a Ohio go line mic into college KWM2 with a uh, 312B4. Five sixteen F two power supply and uh, I'm pushing a heat kit S P two hundred at about six hundred or seven hundred watts. And I got a dipole at forty five feet. And uh, about all I can do right now. This is F five PF. Okay, Phil, you found this thing that sounds good as usual there. Appreciate you checking in. All right. Who's next for the Bodeckers Unlimited come now? W one Bravo Golf. Kilo Charlie 5, November Papa Charlie. All right, I got two. W1BG, go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Uh, name is Bill. We're here over here in Katy, Texas, and we're not on a boat anchor tonight. We're on a little 7300 uh, and a uh, Heil uh, ICM mic and a uh, ACOM 2100 amplifier into a uh, antenna that's stretched up on our fence here. But anyway, I just came down here looking for Lynn. I thought I might run into Lynn down here. Has he checked in yet? Over? No, righty. Appreciate it, Terry. Yeah, the little... Uh, ICOM 7300, sounds good there. Now, like we said at the beginning of the net, it doesn't matter if you're on a, a, a vintage rig as long as you're interested in what we're doing there. Bill, appreciate you checking in there, and we'll catch you next time. Contact Rusty. Uh, Contact Rusty. The November, or I think it's November Papa's. Hey, Rusty. Whatever that was, November Papa Fox Trot or something like that. Hey, Rusty, can I have it a minute? Yeah, go ahead, Lance. Yeah, hi, Bill. Yeah, the 60-foot tree that used to hold up my antenna was taken out, uh, and all my antenna's on the roof. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very compromised, but I'm here listening, but didn't want to talk much, Bill, over k 5 mil Okay, Lynn. Well, listen, the only reason I was hollering for you is I've, I have come across a service manual, service manual for the 7300, and I did not know if I gave you one with it when I showed you the radio, but I've got a, a hard copy of the service manual if you want it. I think I'm fine, Bill. You gave me three manuals, and I like them all, so I'm covered. Okay, uh, that's all we need, and, and thanks a lot uh, for Net Control for letting us in. We'll be out. W1BG. Back to you, Rusty. Okay. All righty. Uh, uh, I think it was November Papa Charlie, I think, was the one I heard. Go ahead. Yeah, Rusty, this is Kilo Charlie 5, November Papa Charlie Hubert in San Angelo. I'm on in a little old uh, rice box, I come 7300, uh, SB 1000, out to the off center fed dipole. That's all we got going over here in dry San Angelo. Kilo Charlie 5, November Papa Charlie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounded good there, Hubert. I know who it is now since I got the, my, my head screwed on right. Appreciate you checking in. We'll catch you next time. Oh, that was a train wreck a while ago. Who else is out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Whiskey Oscar Zulu. Hey, go ahead, Dan. Yeah, good evening, Rusty and everybody else on the, on the net. This is Dan KWZ in Houston just running a, a, a Kenwood 830 into a Kenwood 922 and a Kenwood MC50 microphone. And the, and, and, but I've got a, let's see, what the hell is that? That's a, a Drake tuner. 
but uh, actually it's probably in bypass anyway, so forget about the tuner. And I'm running all of that into a inverted V up about 42 feet. And that's that's it. I tried to check in earlier, and I had a had a loose mic connection, I think, on this thing. Uh, I think I fixed it. Anyway, that's it from here. Thank you, Rusty. K W O Z. <laughs> yeah, you sound a lot better on that than you did on that early one. You sounded worse than Squeaky Pete over there, and <laughs> I know you know who that is. <laughs> anyway, catch you later, Dan. All right, who's next for the Bonackers Unlimited? KG5 IEE, go ahead. Hey, good evening, Rusty and everybody on the net. This is Randall over in uh, Marshall, Texas. And, uh, hey, Rusty, it was good to meet you at uh, the Wing Himself uh, last week. Uh, good to put a face to the, uh, to the voice on the net, so good to visit with you a little bit there. Coming in tonight on the Gilman TSC 30 Cougar, just running barefoot with a microphone, and that is going into an embed half wave that's uh, up only about 25 feet as it runs out through the woods. And that's about it for me. Everybody sounded good. Bye-bye. Okay, yeah, it's nice to meet you over there, too. Yeah. Your uh, Kenwood 830 sounded good there. Uh, <laughs> it is noisy, but I didn't miss a thing. Appreciate you checking in. All right, who's next for the Bonangers Unlimited? Come now. With the Alpha 5, Edward David X-Ray. W5HTR. Okay, I got two there. Uh, uh... Go ahead there, Byron. Yeah, Rusty, good evening, and hello to everybody on the net. Uh, I'm following it up with another Kenwood 830 tonight here out of Bluffdale. I am also barefoot uh, up into the old inverted V, about 35 feet, same MC-50 mic. So, uh, yeah, got a lot of static crashes tonight, but uh, everybody's getting through uh, to some degree. Uh, thanks again for calling the net, and uh, Lynn, we hope you get your antennas back up pretty soon. That'd be A5EDX. Okay, Byron. Your 830 is sounding good, too, there. Appreciate you checking in. All right, HCR. Fred, what's going on over there in the Metroplex? Yeah, good evening, Rusty. W5 HCR, Richardson, Texas. Uh, not much going on. Talking on my uh, TR4, barefoot. Antenna's an inverted V with the apex at about 30 some odd feet. And the mic's a sure 444 4 Delta. That's, that's pretty much the rig here. Kind of noisy on the band tonight. Uh, not do, not uh, hearing everybody uh, as, as uh, clearly as normally. But uh, I hear you just fine. Went to uh, the Hampest in uh, uh, Emory uh, over the weekend, last weekend, and uh, that was interesting. That was a lot of fun. wasn't real large, but it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Enjoyed seeing a lot of people. So anyway, back to you. Uh, let's see. W-K-5-R, I think that's your call, isn't it? W-5-H-T-R. You are correct, Fred, and I think I missed you over there. I was there, but I missed you, I think. Anyway, <laughs> we'll catch you next time. Okay, who else is out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Uh-oh, I may have fished the pond dry up here, Mike. One more time. Anybody else out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net? Come now. Well, I think I fixed the pond dry there, Mike. KL7, Charlie Delta, WK5R. Your turn again. Okay, Rusty. WK5R, KL7, Charlie Delta down here in New Braunfels, Texas. Pretty good net so far. I've heard everybody haven't asked, had to ask any questions except what's your name or something like that. Copy everything 100% so far. Just starting to get a little more noisy on my end. It was really, really good conditions earlier, but uh, starting to get a little more noisy here. Okay, let's see what we're going to do now. Um, let me, let me just explain real quickly. You're on the Boat Anchors Unlimited net. You stumbled on to 3870. We meet every Wednesday night at 730 Central Time. 
and we talk about the early days of single sideband. A lot of people are running uh, vacuum tube rigs, like I am, and uh, some hybrids. But also a lot of people check in on modern radios if they're interested in hearing these old rigs and learning about what we do. So we've lost two um, net controls, uh, Lynn and, and uh, Jay. Rusty's still here with me, and I'm a substitute, and I hope I'm doing an okay job. I'm doing the best I can. If that ain't good enough, that's too bad. So let's see. Uh, anybody else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net? Come now, please. With a great preamble like that, you'd think you'd get at least one call, but I didn't hear any. Anybody else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net? Come now. Anybody, anywhere, come now. A quick commentary, Mike. Now go ahead. Hey, you guys have done wonderful management of the net tonight, and I hope to uh, replace this 60-foot-tall oak tree that used to hold up my antenna soon. And uh, But it will be hard to follow in you guys' footsteps because you all did such a great job. Back to you, Mike, K5LYN. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. You know, your signal came way up, Lynn. I don't know what happened, but it came way up, uh, at least at my end. I, I would give you an S meter reading, but as you know, my SX101A, the S meter is not accurate right now. i got to work on that. Anyway, uh, okay, well, let's do this. I'll send it back to Rusty. Rusty, you put out another call. And if Jay doesn't jump in, uh, then go ahead and close the net. QSL? QSL, thank you for stepping in and helping us tonight, Mike. We appreciate that. All right. KM5 QS, did you ever plug back up, Jay? Uh, apparently not. Okay. This is the last call. Anybody else out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net? Come now. I hear nobody. So, like uh, Mike said, uh, all of us here that are doing net control, uh, Mike, Mike is a substitute tonight, but that's it, Lynn J. And we all know what it takes to uh, get these things on the air and keep them going. We appreciate what y'all are doing. We'll look for you next week. Now, this is WK5R. Now, closing this session of the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net and returning the frequency to normal amateur abuse. WK5R.